Hi, this is Kev. This is my first YouTube video. I'm going to perform a surgery on my calico oranda goldfish. The crown on top of his head, also known as the wen, has grown to the point that it's affecting his sight. And this is obviously affecting his quality of life. So I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step video on how we're going to trim his wen. And we'll see how he goes from here. Thank you. This is where I'm going to perform his procedure. I have two containers with oxygen. This is the table where the procedure will be performed. These are the necessary tools needed. I also have the clove oil where we'll mix the mixture so we can put them under anesthesia. I also have some disinfectant so we can clean the tools. And as you can see here, when we do put them inside this quarantine tank, I have some aquarium salt if it's needed. We also have some prime and stress coat. This here is a specimen container where I'm going to take him out of the pond, this small indoor pond. And as you can see here on the far end, I'm going to zoom in a bit. This is his quarantine tank where I put a sponge filter. I put a heater so we can regulate the temperatures around 70 degrees. And if I go a little bit to the far left, this is where he is in his indoor pond. Now we have our Randa. He's in the container. I'm going to mix the anesthesia. We're going to put approximately about six drops in there because he's a larger fish. Okay, I'm going to shake it around a bit. As you can see, it's a bit of a milky, cloudy solution. So I'm going to pour it in there with him. So now I'm going to just let him sit in there for approximately anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes. He'll be going to sleep. He will invert and then he will be turning over to the side of his body. When he turns over to the side, I'll test it just to make sure he's already at rest. And from there, we'll go ahead and proceed with his procedure. As you can see, he inverted and now he's leaning to the side. So his breathing is labored, but he's still alive. And I already started working on the tools from as far as disinfecting it. So we're going to take him out. Hopefully he's already at rest. Hopefully he's at bay. So what I'm going to do, let's start off with the necessary tools needed to start trimming his wen. As you can see, where the crown is growing over his eyes, he's completely underneath. So I'm going to start trimming that area. You may get some movement, but he's not going to be under any sort of pain. It's okay. He has like very little itty bitty eyes as well. Not like the average goldfish. I'm gonna cut a little bit off the front so it wouldn't obstruct him when he's feeding. There you go. His gills are looking okay. Now we're going to go to the other side. As you can see, his eyes is completely covered. There you go, boy. Okay. 
what I'm going to do is hydrate them a bit. I'm going to just lightly hydrate them. And proceed with the procedure. Things that come along just nice. Wonderful. Let's continue to see if there's any parts of the crown that's obstructing his field of view. Take a look from the top so you can have some vision from the front. Mm. Okay. His gills look like it's okay, it's not covered so far. So this would definitely help him a bit. Make sure we cut a little more from the front. Got some mucus right here in that area. So now he should have a good, proper field of view. Just cut a little bit off here. And let's see off the top. Okay, so now we're going to put him in his recovery tank. There's oxygen in there. We'll leave him in there for a couple minutes and he should be soon recovering. And once he is mobile, I'm going to move him over to his quarantine tank where I'll observe him for the next 24 hours. And from there, we'll release him back into the indoor pond. Thank you. It's been about 30 minutes since his procedure. As you can see, he's looking great. His eyes, his field of vision, as well as his buoyancy seems to be back intact. He's a much more happier fish. Hey, buddy, say hi. Swimming around, looking lively again. What I'm going to do is just monitor him for another 24 hours. Then I'm going to put him back into the smaller pond, and we'll see how he goes. Hi guys, it's been 24 hours now and I just reintroduced him to the pond. You can obviously see he's very excited to be back with his friends. Aren't you happy little guy? You can finally see. Look at him. <laughs> You're so happy to see him again. Yeah, you go ahead. So like I said, I reintroduced him to the pond. Just make sure the um, temperature parameters are right. I also put some stress coat in there based on his reintroduction. He's swimming along just fine, getting along with his friends. And during the week I'm likely going to do a surgery on his other friend here because he's also having a similar problem with a lot of the growth in his face. Um, it's not as bad as what his was, but I figured since I have the supplies already out, maybe later this week I'll do that and I'll record it as well. Um, just please remember, this is my first video, so if you like what you see, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up, and I'll be sure to make more videos in the future, and we'll see where we go from there. So until then, this is Kev. I look forward to seeing you guys again, and thank you, and God bless.